Uh, so let's go ahead and, and get started. And what you need to do is you create an account uh, and you can either follow this link or you can just you can just Google for Firebase. Uh, not, not that hard to do. Uh, if we click in here, um, then the first thing that you're going to want to do is sign up if you haven't before. Um, I've already done that, so I'm going to skip this step and go to login. But I encourage you to go, go ahead and sign up now. All right, and I'll get, get myself logged in. I'm just going to sign in with my Google account and go in here. And uh, to create a new Firebase is, is really, really simple. Uh, so what I want you to do is to, for your app name, call it movie quotes and then your URL is going to be your Rose Holman username hyphen and then movie hyphen quotes. Now mine isn't available because I already have one further down in the list uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll create another one just just so you can see it for now uh, so I'll follow along with you um, and actually I've already done that one too so let, let's go ahead and go up to, to movie quotes three and uh, just hit create new app and that's going to bring us uh, it's going to bring it up here, and then if you click Manage App or you hit Movie Quotes, that's going to bring you into the Forge. All right. So I will click into this, and we'll we'll get into our Forge here, uh, and we'll leave that for a second. But there's lo lots of neat stuff, right? So you can view your data. Uh, you can also set up rules on this, which we'll do in a minute. Um, they have some uh, some other neat uh, tools here. Um, login we're going to play around with for authentication, like I said later. Uh, you can you can host your own web page uh, that that um, that manages the data here. Uh, and some more stuff for authentication. So, so pretty, pretty nice. Uh, all right, and you'll notice, like I said, um, so uh, Tyler, Tyler's username is showing up in a lot of this, but please do change it to your own. Uh, one thing that's neat is that you don't really have to do any backend work ahead of time, right? Very different um, from some other, uh, you know, backend databases where you have to set up all your table structure and all that kind of stuff. We need to do zero. So uh, let's get started. Um, we're actually going to start in with with adding some hard coded data just to save you the data entry of of having some some uh, some movie quotes to to start with. I'm going to go ahead and import this data right into our Firebase app. So if you click on this, this will uh, let you download a JSON file uh, that when it's time to use it, you can go ahead and click on the import data button uh, here in your uh, in your app, and it'll just have you navigate to there. All right, so go ahead and do that right now. So once you click that, uh, you, you probably got a message about it overriding your current data, which you didn't have any, so no big deal. Uh, and we go in here and we, we see that we get quotes. Uh, so what you're seeing here are six different quotes. These are auto-generated keys uh, that are essentially time-stamped. I'll talk more about it later. And for each one of these keys, we have a value. And a value is the actual movie quote object itself uh, that's made up of, of a, a, a movie title and then a quote from that movie. right? Um, you can add, delete things. Uh, you can you can scroll into them. If you click on one of these guys, it'll actually bring you. Uh, it'll sort of navigate just to that part of the path, uh, and then we could see the movie and the quote in there. And you could make changes if you want. You could you could add them. You could delete them. Uh, do do whatever you want there. Okay. Uh, so that's 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 about it. Uh, let's go ahead and put in some rules. Uh, so this is some very, very simple rules uh, that, that specify the, the format of the data. Again, we're, we're not worrying about that too much right now. Uh, we'll be using it more when we do authentication. So what I would say is, is feel free to just go ahead to this slide right here and copy and paste the rules uh, right into your app. Uh, and they're actually working on a tool that, that, that actually simplifies some of this stuff right here. So, so Bolt, you can run from the command line. But they're actually working on, on getting that integrated into the UI. So, so pretty neat stuff. All right, so I'm going to go back to my Forge. And under Rules, let's see if I still have this on my clipboard. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and paste those guys in. And then do make sure that you save the rules here uh, without saving them. They, they, they won't stick. Right? That, that's burned me before when I've forgotten to save them. And that's all we got for you for this lesson. All right, we will see you next time.